Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you January 5th through January 18th, 2015 in my Erin Condren planner. This spread here you guys have already seen. I did this in my last video. I will link that below if you're interested. Today we are going to look at January 5th through the 11th and then the 12th through the 18th. As you can see, I stuck with the color theme that Erin Condren has in place for January, which is the uh, bluish green and orange color for January. And guys, I am obsessed with this color combination and I will show you why in this picture that I'm gonna insert right here which is my scrapbook room, laundry room. So you can see I love these colors. <laughs> okay, so I stuck with those for the two weeks that I'm going to be showing today. Now I can't show you all of the stickers. We're just gonna touch on some of them. We're gonna zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram. So I'm going to uh, really focus on the ones that I get the most questions on as far as stickers and washi tape. I purchased most of my stickers on Etsy and my washi tape is also purchased from Etsy. So anytime I mention a shop, I will have a link for it below in the description. I get a lot of questions about this arrow washi here. It's from Teresa Collins. I absolutely love it. And what's great about it is if you have something that continues on through a day or or something that crosses over several days, you can put it in the planner without having to put a separate entry in for each time you do that specific task, and I really like that a lot. Um, I love this sleep-in little combination that I put here on the sixth. My husband finally learned how to give our diabetic cat her morning insulin shot, so I got to sleep in for a change, which was awesome because I've been getting up at 5.30 prior to this every morning to feed and give her her shot. And these letter stickers are from Doodlebug Designs. I love them. They're so perfect for putting in the planners. They fit so perfectly. And this little Band-Aid is from It's Planning Time. My husband and I have been doing a major cleanup in our basement and I've definitely pushed myself to the max and I hurt my shoulder and my back. So you will see a lot of injury related entries in my next two weeks. And you'll see a lot of basement reorganization entries as well. Um, another favorite this week was this little screwdriver from Plantastic planning. We are renovating our kitchen and living room and I have a lot of tasks that are associated with that so I like to mark them that way. Uh, my favorite TV stickers are from Oh Hello Stationery. What I like about these stickers is in the little TV I can write DVR or I can write live and it helps me know when a show is going to be on or if I can skip it if it's on the DVR I can you know possibly move it to another evening in case something comes up so I really love those a lot and that'll all be linked below I got a lot of questions on my Instagram about these silverware stickers and as you can see they are shiny and they are so super cute and mentioning my Instagram if you guys are not following me you really really should <laughs> so I will link that below as well and I always post my midweek and final week each week so you guys won't miss any of my pages if you follow me on Instagram. And these silverware stickers are from Mrs. Grossman's. They're really, really old in my stash. I did find a set on eBay. They were quite expensive, but if you do really like them and you wanna do a week spread with them, they are totally worth it because they are super, super adorable. I get a lot of questions also on my hydrate stamp. This is from Studio L. 2e and it is a stamp and I use um, chalk ink so that it doesn't bleed through to the next page. Guys, I am terrible about tracking my water. I know a lot of us are, but I am really bad at it. So I really need to step up my game on that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 8th through the 11th. I get a lot of questions about this weekend banner. These are from Scribble Prince Co. on Etsy. I love her shop. They are shiny stickers, as you can see. They are not matte. The only ones that I like for the them to be matte is if I need to write on them. Otherwise, I'm okay with some stickers being matte and some not. So I like the different combinations in my book. And then I did use a workout stamp from a Sweet Stamp Shop 
for working out. I was doing really good working out, but unfortunately, because I hurt myself cleaning the basement, I didn't really uh, stick on the workout plan. You'll see that as we go on to the next week. And I love this sticker right here. It says, when you get to your wits end, just tie a knot and hang on. And I think that was so super cute and so appropriate for this week between my cat being sick and me hurting myself and the craziness going on with cleaning our basement. I really needed that sticker. <laughs> And here are just some other random ones that I used. I repeated my hydrate sticker for the 8th through the 11th. And as you can see, nothing is filled out. But you know what, guys? I am okay with that because that helps me go back and remember when I've slacked and when I really need to step up my game. Okay, we're going to go on to the 12th and the 14th. Again, hurt back, hurt shoulder. Told you it was all about the hurt this week. <laughs> Totally love how this page came out as well. I continued to track my cat's food. This I created myself. The insulin shots, that sticker from It's Planning Time, and my Fitbit steps. And as you can see, I did not record these three days, but that's what's great about the Fitbit. I can go back into my app on my iPhone and put those in because I forgot to add them. I continue to track hydration, even though I slacked the week before, I picked it up again. And these little dinner stamps are from Studio L2E as well. And I love this reschedule sticker. This is from Scribble Prints Co. on Etsy. Let's see, really, really love this. When you have a full day of stuff that was scheduled and something comes up, it's perfect to just put this cutesy little rescheduled. They also come in canceled and I really love them in all the different colors. And again, more basement project reorganization, basement project reorganization. Okay, on to the next page and the final page. My favorite two stickers are these right here. I do not know who they're from. They're on an old sticker sheet that I've had forever, but I do a lot of computer work and this is like my favorite sticker for representing computer work. I'm gonna need to scan the ones that I have left into my silhouette and cut new ones for me. I have not tried that process yet, but I'm going to give it a try. And then here is the do not feed the cat sticker. And oh, before you freak out guys, I feed my animals daily. <laughs> what happens is I have two sick cats right now, one that's diabetic and one that's had a hurt leg for a long time. And some of the procedures at the vet require for us not to feed them prior to them going. So there are times when I have to remember that and look how cute this is. It's a little hungry cat with an empty dish. I think it's just so perfect. I love it. I'm going to need like a hundred of those. <laughs> well, I hope my cats aren't that sick, but anyway, I really, really like them. And this washi tape here, I wanted to show you because I put just a small piece in this week, but you guys are going to see this in an upcoming week. I'm going to do a whole week spread that rotates around this washi tape because it is beautiful. I got that on Etsy as well, and I'll link the shop below. It was a shop in England. Love, love it. Um, fell off the hydrate wagon again, guys, as you can see, <laughs> didn't schedule my hydrate. Um, but I did stamp out my dinners for the week. And again, this little dinner stamp is from Studio L2E. And then finally, I have these two house stickers, which I totally love. I started labeling the basement organization project with these. They're from It's Planning Time. I love them because it just makes me think of housework or something going on within the house. Guys, I am surprised that Hoarders was not bouncing and jumping on my doors trying to get in to film my basement. That's how bad it was. I think we sent about eight truckloads full to Goodwill over the last couple of weeks. I mean, my husband and I have been really going at it and we're really happy with how it's coming along. So I needed some way to track it in my planner and I chose these house stickers. Love them. I'm going to need to order probably another couple of pages because we're only about 50% through the reorder project but it's coming along and it's really exciting and that is it guys that was everything please thumbs up this video if you want to see more of these weekly shares also I'm going to share my Instagram right here
Please follow along, guys. I really want to thank you guys for the love and devotion you guys have been putting into my Instagram and my YouTube channel with this planning. And just a little side note, I do Project Life as well, guys. So for those of you that just want to do planning stuff or just want to see planning stuff, my channel is going to have Project Life stuff as well. So I just wanted to warn you guys, I don't want to mislead anybody in thinking that this is just a planner channel. <laughs> I am a crafting junkie all around, but thank you so much guys for following. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really love you guys and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.